What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we'll be drawing Street Ninja Tara from Brawl Stars. Now the first thing we'll do is start in the center of our page with the top edge of the collar. So we start on the left side, I'm going to draw a curve that comes down the middle and then back up on the right side. Now let's go back to the left, we're going to draw a half circle coming down towards the bottom of the chin and then back up towards the right. Come down in the middle. I'm just going to pull that up on the right side. Now we're going to draw the head tucked in behind the edge of the collar. So on the left side, we're going to step in and draw a circle. So we're going to go out, come up towards the top of the head, round this out, come down, and then in, leaving a little overlap on the outside. Now from the ends of the collar, I'm just going to curve this up and in behind the head. Let's go back up to the top. We're going to draw a half circle tucked in behind the right side of the head. So we start in the center, curve up, round this out, and pull that in. Now let's start adding some detail. From the bottom of the head, we're going to step up. We're going to curve across and then up towards the right side. So we're going to go a little bit higher on the right. And then from the center of the head, we're going to move out towards the right. We're going to curve out and then down underneath the collar on the left side. Now let's move all the way back towards the right. We step in, we follow that same curve of the head, coming around and then down in behind the collar. Let's move to the center of the head, underneath this line, we're going to curve down and then out towards the right side, just up above the edge of the collar. Now we want to tuck the eye in underneath this trim. So on the inside, we're going to draw a half circle, curving down, now as we come up, we're going to add a notch. Angling down and out, going back in, and then we'll continue that half circle going up towards the top of the trim. Let's fill this outer area in black. And then from the center of the eye, we're going to move in and draw a half oval. Coming down, back up, and then we'll fill that pupil in black. Let's add the jewel over on the left side of the head. So right here, we're going to draw a circle, starting from the top, coming around to the bottom, and back up towards the top. And then on the top left, we're going to add a small circle for a highlight. Let's add that detail around this jewel. Starting from the center, we're going to step up, start with a point. From here, we're going to curve out and down towards the left, and then the right. Now from the ends, we're going to curve up and out, and we'll pull that down and in towards that gem, leaving a little space along the inside. Now I just want to trace this gem around the outside. Starting on the left, it's going to leave an even space gap all the way around, and then back in on the right side. And we'll add one more trim across the top of the head. Starting on the left side, curve up in the middle, and then back down on the right. Let's move down and add some detail to the collar. We're going to start with the zipper, but we're going to shift this over towards the right. So right along the edge, we're going to draw two short lines coming down, close off the bottom with a straight line. Now halfway along the side, we go out with a short line, come down with an angle towards the bottom of the zipper pull, and we'll close off the bottom with a curve, going down and then up. Let's add a trim across the top of the collar. From the left side, we're going to step down. We're just going to trace that same curve, coming across and in, go in behind the zipper, and then continue up on the right side. Let's add some texture to that trim. Starting in the center, start with a straight line coming down, and we're going to work our way over towards the left with a series of straight lines, just evenly spaced out. And we'll do the same thing on the right. We're also going to add that zipper curving down from underneath that zipper towards the bottom of the head. So we'll start down here, curve down and in, step out, just trace that same curve. Let's move down and draw the sides of the body. Starting on the left, we curve out, 
and then down towards the hip, move over towards the right, and do the same thing. Now let's close off the bottom. Starting on the left, curve down, and then up. We'll move up and draw that same curve. Now from the top of the belt, we're gonna step up and draw that same curve to the bottom edge of the shirt. And then going back to the top of the center, we're gonna draw two straight lines coming down from the zipper. Now we're gonna draw the pockets on either side of the zipper. From the top, we'll step down, draw a short line going out toward the left and right. Now from the ends, we're gonna curve down and out just beside the body, along the inside, and we'll come straight down towards the bottom of the shirt. Let's continue down with the legs. In the center, we're gonna move down and draw a curve from left to right, going up, and then down. And then in the center, we draw a short line coming down towards the bottom edge of the pant. Let's move back up to the hip and round up the leg, coming back in toward the center line. So start on the left side. We curve out, round up the bottom of the pant. I'm just gonna pull that up toward that center line. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Coming down, rounding up the leg, and then pulling that in. Then we're gonna move back up and draw those straps. We're gonna start on the left side. We're gonna start with two straight lines coming down side by side. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And then from the bottom of the belt loop, we're gonna draw two straps curving down and out towards the side of the leg. Let's start down here, curve down and out. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna step in and draw that same curve going across. And at the top of the strap, we're gonna add a little bracket along the top, just curving down and in from the belt. From the bottom of the strap, we're gonna step down and draw the knee pad. We curve up, down, and then out. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Curving up, down, and then back out. Now we're gonna continue this center line coming down towards the bottom of the feet. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from that center line, go down and up towards the toe. And do the same thing on the right. Let's round out the front of the shoe. Starting from the toe, we're going to curve up and in with a short line on both sides. Now from the top of the foot, I want to follow that same curve, coming down and then up towards the inside of the leg. And then from the top point of the foot, we're going to draw a curve, going up and then down, almost like a half circle. The tongue of the shoe. And then from the outside of that tongue, we'll draw a straight line going up underneath the legs. Let's add a little bit more detail to the shoes. We take this curve, step up, and just trace that across from toe to heel and heel to toe. And then from the inside of the tongue, we'll draw a straight angle line going down and out on both sides. And then we'll step out and just duplicate that. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. I'm gonna start with the arm on the right. This one's gonna be tucked in behind the body. So from the top of the body, we're gonna step out, curve out the arm, round it out, and then just pull that in behind the hip. Now about halfway along the side of the body, curve up and then out. Let's add a trim across the arm. Starting from the top of the body, we're gonna follow that same curve of the arm, going out and then down, and then halfway, curve up and out. I'm also gonna add that triangle on the forearm. Starting right beside the body, we'll draw a straight angle line coming down, and we're gonna go up towards the center point. Now we're gonna draw the left arm bent up holding some cards. So from the top of the body, we're gonna step out, curve out and down towards the inside of the elbow. And then from here, we're gonna step down, curve up over that line, and then out towards the wrist. Let's draw the fingers. From the top of the wrist, we're gonna curve out and then up towards the tip of the finger. Round up the finger, come down, and then hook that in. We draw two more fingers. On the side, curve up, down, and then in. And then the third finger, curve up, and then down, and then in. We're just gonna blend into a curve going up towards the inside of the wrist. Let's go to the bottom corner of the hand. We're gonna curve down, round up the elbow, and then back up underneath the body. Come down and in, and just pull that up. 
Let's add a trim across the forearm. Starting at the very top, go down, and then out. We're also gonna add that same trim we have on the right, on the left arm. So starting from the top of the body, go out, and then down, and then we'll add that line, going across halfway. At the bottom of the forearm, we're going to add a half triangle. Starting out here, curve across and up, and it will come straight down towards the bottom of the arm. Let's move up and draw some cards in behind the fingers. Starting from the first finger, start with a straight line going up, go straight out, and then come down on top of the outside finger. And we'll tuck two more cards in behind. Halfway down the side of this card, angle up and out, Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to come down and out. And then we'll pull those in behind the fingers. And then we'll add a trim around each of the cards. Starting with the one on the left. So we have an even space gap all the way around. That center card. And then finally the inside card. And that's pretty much it. There's Street Ninja Tara from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.